These are five pop punk riffs that I think every guitarist should know. Now, pop punk music is usually seen as super easy for guitarists. It's like a couple of power chords and like a riff every now and again. And like, that's pretty much it. Like, so all you need is like three chords and you can play through it. But a lot of the really big pop punk bands, and just pop punk bands in general, play some really cool guitarists that I think every guitarist should know because they're simple, they're like nursery rhymes. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also we now have some memberships on the channel. So if you hit that join button, it will tell you about all the memberships that we have. And also if you wanna click that thanks button, it really helps me out. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first riff that I thought every guitar should know is Dumpweed by Blink-182. It's a super simple riff, but it just has something about it. It's tons of energy and it's super simple. It's kind of got like a bit of string skipping in there. <laughs> some pull-offs and it goes up to the octave. It does the low, the low riff and the high riff. So it's got everything that you could possibly need to try and get better at guitar. So I've played through it and I've also added tabs at the bottom so you can play along with it if you want to. So yeah, just check that one out. Now the next riff I thought that was super important for pop punk guitar playing was Dirty Little Secret by All American Rejects. Again, you've got that kind of like string skipping thing, but it's like octave, so it's like. Right, it's just, it's super pop punk. It's super easy, it's nice, but then obviously it goes up the octave as well. So then you kind of like doing the same riff, but in a different position. Again, it's something really good to learn for when you're first starting to learn guitar. So check it out with the tabs and play along with it if you can. Now the next song is a pop punk staple. It's a classic. Anytime you go out to one of those like emo night, pop punk nights or whatever, it's always probably gonna be one of the last songs or even one of the first songs. They're gonna probably play it in the club like 15 times because it's just a absolute banger of a pop punk song. It's Fat Lip by Sum 41. Now for this one, you're gonna need to detune your guitar. You're gonna need to drop that low E string all the way down to a D. That is not a D. There it is. And now with that drop D, it makes everything a little bit heavier, but it's a super easy way to play the riff. Such a cool riff. It's so bouncy. With the palm mutes that are in there at the start of it. It's a great way to learn how to palm mute properly with the in riffs, which you're gonna need a lot if you're playing a lot of pop on guitar. Now this next song is probably one of my favorite songs of all time. I think it was actually one of the first songs that I properly ever learned on guitar. It's Sugar We're Going Down by Fall Out Boy. Now there's kind of two parts to this. Obviously you've got the first part, which is like the, the main chords, right? That's kind of the first part. And then you're going into the second half of it, which has got that like main riff in it. Now I think this is such a great riff for pop punk guitarists and again just guitarists in general because of those double stops. Now double stops is something where you play two notes at the same time, which is that. And it kind of creates like a chord sound, which is really cool and it works really well in a lot of riffs. So. Now, 
Now, one band that's known as kind of pop punk royalty is New Found Glory. They're a little bit on like the easy core of side of things, but still they're pop punk. And their song, My Friends Over You, is a great little guitar riff that is fast and energetic to get you playing a lot faster if you're not used to it. So you've got that main riff. It's a really cool riff. It's really simple. It just repeats itself over and over again in the verse and does it in the chorus and stuff as well. It's just a great riff and it sounds awesome. So when you're playing in a band and someone else is doing the other part, it just all works super well together and you just sound sick. So let me know what you think to those five pop punk riffs that I think every guitarist should learn on guitar at least some point in their life. What guitar riffs did I miss out on? Maybe I'll make another one with another five. It's great to learn as many guitarists as you can. So just in case you need to think of an idea or something, you've got something to fall back on. But if you like this video, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.